All right, back with workout number three. Okay, we are doing single leg um, deadlifts and we're doing five on each leg, but we're gonna use two dumbbells where we are going to um, like close in that knee in the front, okay? Um, so we are going to get ourselves set and we're going to get into that disposition and we're gonna come down, keep those dumbbells nice and tight to the knee and then drive back up. Go into a parallel position, keep your shoulders back, keep that belly tight, come down, nice and tight to that knee. Don't, make sure you keep those dumbbells they, they're going to like squeeze that knee, not literally, but right here, nice and tight to it before you come back up. Five on each leg, and then we're going to do a half Turkish get up. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a half Turkish get up real quick for you, even though you've done these before. So I'm using my right arm, so the right leg is bent. I put my, put my foot out a little bit to keep that hip open, and you're going to punch to the ceiling onto your forearm. Then you're going to push off with your palm. Keep the eye on the dumbbell up here. Keep your shoulder packed in. You're going to bring your knee, your leg through. You're going to kneel tall. Stand all the way up. Kneel back down. Put your palm back down. Bring your leg back through onto your forearm. Lay all the way down. All right. Um, that was the half Turkish get up. So we didn't stand all the way up. Did I stand all the way up? Oh my gosh. <laughs> don't stand all the way up. Let me show you again. We're not doing a full Turkish get up. I'm just doing a half. I just got into it. Okay. So punch to the ceiling. Push off with your palm. Bring your leg through. Kneel tall. That's a half Turkish get up. Put your palm down. Bring your leg through. Put your forearm down. And lay all the way down. There you go. Half Turkish get up. So those are the two strength exercises for workout number three. And then we're going to do five rounds of um, three cycles. You want to count 12 steps in a particular area. All right, so you count your, you're just I'm planning on counting 12 steps, like these kind of steps. All right, once you count, mark the sides, and then you're going to do a sprint, shuffle, sprint, shuffle. So you're gonna sprint to the other side, tap, turn, shuffle, tap, sprint, and then shuffle in the other direction. Now I'm not going as fast as I can for a sprint, but you want to go as fast as you can for the for the sprint. Sprint, shuffle, sprint, shuffle. Three cycles. From there, you're going to be doing six burpees. Yay, burpees. And hooray. So we got burpees. And we've got overhead lunges. So you'll take one of your dumbbells, hold it overhead, and lunge forward. Or if you prefer, you can lunge backward. Um, let's just say that you have some knee issues and lunging like that constant back, back and forth bothers you. You could also just do some, um, hold it down with saddle and do some um, split squats like this. That works too, if you need to. You can also modify it by not holding the weight overhead or modify it by using no weight at all. And you do, um, we have eight lunges and then t um, 20 body weight Russian twists. If you really want to use a dumbbell, you can, but I like the body weight Russian twists just as much. So just get yourself down here. Just uh, hold your, um, cross your ankles, keep the foot off the ground, and you're here. And then you're gonna center over, center to four, five, six. Get that good twist so you can feel all the way across, and do 20 of those. And then you'll. That, I just did one round, so you'll do five rounds total. And then. Um, if you're feeling great, it feels really good. You could add a six rounds. Sometimes we do six rounds. And if you feel really, felt really good, you could absolutely add in one more round if you're feeling it. And, um, but I wouldn't do more than that. So I have five rounds, but if you want to add that six, go for it. And then you go right into your core, three to four rounds of bare hold leg extensions, 12. So you're gonna get yourself into a bird dog position. Lift your knees off the ground, and you're just gonna straighten your leg and then back down. Don't punch all the way back down. Keep everything nice and tight. And you're doing 12 of those. Okay, after 12 of those, you're gonna do a side plank leg lift. So then you'll get yourself set into a side plank position. Bring your hip up off the ground and then you're just gonna lift. One, two, three. You do eight on each side of the leg lifts. Keep that hip up when you're doing the leg lifts. And then 20 second um, scissor kicks. So you're here. Bring your feet up and then crisscross. Two, 
three, four, five. You're doing 20 of those. Three to four rounds of those three cycles for them. And then you will be finished.